Estamos pescando uh, mackerel españoles. Sí, <laughs> sí. <laughs> hey, come on, amigo, let's go. And it's going to be muy caliente. <laughs> The first thing you're going to notice is the birds are diving. See where it says birds? When you just dive down, that's a pelican. If the birds are diving, that means the bait's there. If the bait's there, that means the fish are there. And the bait is there. It's still there in the surf. So you can grab your cast net. You can get out there. we got this north wind coming in that's keeping the waves down, makes it easy to walk out there, and you can just throw your cast net, and pretty much if you can get near a school, you're going to be pulling in some, even if you only get a few like I did here. It's good to get live bait because you want to match the bait that's in the surf. That's what the fish see and that's what we're going to go for. So if the finger mullet are running, throw finger mullet. And that's what I'm doing here. I loaded up some finger mullet. I'm going to toss this out and see what we can get. I got a double drop rig with some number one hooks. I think it's number one odd hooks on here. Nothing fancy. And I just hook them through the tail because I find that the blues bite the tails off and leave the head. So I hook them through the tail. And the next thing you can do is just wait. And I had to wait. And I think a lot of you are experiencing that right now too. But they're out there. Meanwhile, a couple of the other guys are doing stuff. This guy was using a fly reel, and I thought that was cool. Like, I know people who fly reel on, like, the intercoastal and stuff, but I hadn't seen one in the surf. And this guy got a nice mullet, and so he was going to see if I wanted to eat it. <laughs> he was just going to throw it back, but I was going for something a little bigger. And this guy caught something a little bigger, but I don't think it's what he wanted either. But he got himself a nice big ray here, and he was just trying to get it. You know how they'll just sit there like that, and you just got to pull them in. You don't want to break your line, so he didn't want to get stung either. So he finally got it to shore. I came back home for a little while, and I'll tell you something. I got a lot of peppers growing in my garden. So I was like, what am I going to do with all these peppers? I can't eat them, and they are muy caliente. Believe me, I got some ghost peppers here. I got some habaneros. I got some chilies. So I took them inside, and I decided I'm going to make some hot pepper with them. So I chopped them up just on the board right there, took out the tops. I leave the seeds in. That's where the hot stuff's at, and I just boil them up on the stove with some white vinegar and I just kind of boiled them up in with the white vinegar until they got nice and soft. I probably should have roasted them first but eventually they got nice and soft anyway and uh, when they seemed good and ready I just took them out of there and I poured them into the blender. I'm just gonna blend them all up. I mean this is a simple little hot sauce recipe there they go blending up but here's the catcher. When I was done I had some leftover pindo palm tree jelly which is really nice and sweet so I mixed the end of the pindo palm tree jelly in with the hot sauce I just made and it made this really cool like almost like a mango habanero but it was like pindo palm habanero super hot muy caliente delicious if <laughs> give it a try if you got some peppers all right back to fishing this is what I like to see it's low tide and the, the surf is on my left and the road's on my right, and right there is a lovely trout. Look at that, nice and deep. And if this was high tide, I'd go right in front of that house right there, and I'd try to fish right where this trout is, because that's where the fish are going to be. But when it's low tide like this, I'm not sure you know where there's a hole or anything. I use this thing I developed called the rule of thirds. What I do is I take the surf, and I divide it into three areas, up close, in the middle, and as far as I can cast. And what I'll do is I'll start by just casting up front, like the first third, in the wash. And that's where Pompano will hang out. Now, if I'm not catching anything there, I'll throw it to the second third. And that's between the breakers. And there's a lot of fish in there, usually two. But if I'm not successful there, then I'll cast as far as I can, which is the third third, beyond the breakers, and see if there's anything out there. And that's um, what I'm going to do now because <laughs> I just don't know where to fish because I'm down here and this it seems very flat. I'm at 75th Street. So I get down to 75th Street and I just try the first third and I did catch a fish and I'm reeling it in here. And uh, let me tell you something. I have not caught this fish last month, but I caught one this month <laughs> and it, it is a flounder. Uh, at least my second one since the season has closed. And this one's not a bad flounder. Now, I got a pretty big foot. It's like I got like a 13 wide foot foot and I'm gonna put my foot I didn't measure it but I'm gonna put my foot down next to this flounder and you can tell me how big you think it is but it's definitely bigger than 13 inches I'll tell you that so he was a keeper um, but of course he wasn't a keeper because the season's closed so and then this guy come up to me he goes is flounder season closed and I was like yeah and he was like I figured that's why I threw him back <laughs> I was like yeah like tears in my eyes so I went for the middle third and waited and didn't catch anything so finally I went out to the third third I cast it just as far as I could and that's because I saw the birds out there and I was like something's out there and I was right so I finally got a fish late in the afternoon here and I reeled them up and I thought it was gonna be blue and it turned out to be a Spanish mackerel and I'm like wow this is perfect it's gonna go with my hot sauce really nice um, so <laughs> here he is 
Uh, I caught him on the finger mullet, just on the double drop rig. Nothing fancy. Like I said, a one-out hook. And this was a nice, like, 20-inch um, Spanish mackerel, a nice little fat Spanish mackerel. So I had some people that wanted to see it, and they were asking what it was. And I noticed it had this bite taken out of it. I don't know if it's a bite or hit a boat or some kind of damage to it. But anyway, it's going to be some fish tacos now. So here's my helper right here. She was helping me get my minnows back in, and she was very interested in what kind of fish this was and everything. And when I put it in the bucket without any water, she said, is it going to be okay? And I was like, yeah, it'll be just fine. Mm -hmm. 